Hello everyone, this is Akuchi back with some more Dominion and I am using a webcam for the first time. So now you get to see uh, the expressions on my face. I'll be playing a league match of sorts against Squire Zuko. This is the um, championship match of D-League for season 41. So there were four D divisions and a winner of each and uh, yeah now we are playing in the finals both of us uh, beat somebody else who won a D division and uh, yeah I'm trying to find the best place to put <clears throat> Excuse me, the webcam image. I think the bottom right is best. It just covers up chat, which is pretty unimportant. Uh, it's going to be a first two 3.5 games, so uh, a little longer than the semifinals. And we are off. Hmm. So I don't see any way to increase hand size except for Tormentor gaining imps. That is a little more... That is a little easier to set up with the Villa in the Kingdom. Probably worth doing. I wonder if we should open Tormentor. Like, opening that over Doctor or Sentry just seems, seems likely to be wrong. Okay, trashing. No trashing from hand. There is in to put cards in the discard pile. Also, Wandering Minstrel can do that. <clears throat> so I think, yeah, Doctor or Sentry. That's that's a that's a tough call. Tough call. How much? Yeah, I just don't have a lot of control over what I trash with either card. Um, can we get rid of a doctor later? Only with the sentry. I think that means I prefer sentry. I'd be a no brainer on a 2 5. Like, Haven is an okay card as well. There's also Quarry Villa, so this is, that's interesting to keep in mind. Wow, this is a tough call. I think I'll go with the Doctor on the 5-2. It's, yeah, that's really unfortunate. I'm full of regret. Uh, the upside here, I wonder if I shouldn't even buy a Haven. So I can really maximize the chance of trashing these estates. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, great. So you get to trash at least two estates. Mm, and we'll get a quarry. So what is our opponent doing? Silver and gotta be quarry, right? That could be good on uh, for like a turn three governor. No, no quarry. Ooh, that's uh, that's obscene. Here, I think we'll get a minstrel. Uh, second quarry is was reasonable, but it's not the kind of game where I want to get all of the villas right now.
Alright, so he still doesn't have a quarry, right? So must we like planning to play something money-ish? Alright, so here we can play Tormentor first and then get a villa. And we can trash a lot of coppers here. What do we want? We're really quite thin. I think I think a monument. I kinda want a quarry, but we can't really set that up. Alright, so we don't get to gain an imp here. No big deal. We get to do almost everything else we want. We should consider gain and play stuff with the villa as well. <clears throat> what? Is, how is it worded? If you have no other cards in play. All right. Nothing fancy there, I don't think. Uh, we can't gain and play this turn. Miserable, that's good. So I think I'll get a quarry. And we want an inn. I think I actually want another Tormentor. Okay. So we can get Farming Village and Inn. We're not going to be able to get an Imp next turn. We can top deck too. Amazingly, we uh, didn't find either of our imps. It's not going to be a problem. We got an absurd start. Um, let's imp the farming village first. Okay. In. And that's our draw. I don't think we're going to do 
file out stuff. So we don't need both quarries. Oh, those are on the top, huh? Oh well. Oh, I should have put a tormentor down there. That would have been smart. That would have been smart. Um, hmm. going to win this game. So double quarry, we can get all the villas and make money off of it. But we still need more plus buy. I don't know. Don't know. I think I'll get one more tormentor just so I can get another imp. It's I don't know. It's it's pretty silly. I've got a quarry down there, so we can put I don't really want the N. It's kind of weird. I think I like want to win the imp split, <laughs> which is which is silly, but that's how I feel. Um, could get another quarry. Down, yeah. Uh, no, we want extra buy. I think. Go minstrel sentry. Okay. Uh, this does not work. This doesn't work. Yeah. Don't have the money to play tormentor for. I mean, we could do it. Just skip a turn. It's not even that crazy. Like, I'm pretty far ahead. Well, I'm really far ahead, so... I think I'm gonna do it. Okay. No! Not an imp! That's so mean. I don't think, I don't know. I should probably just buy provinces. We'll take the, the imps as we can get them, but in this kind of hand, there's a lot we can play for. It's really unfortunate to not have that imp though. The unfortunate. I 
I don't think I want three tormentors. Well, I definitely don't need the doctor though. So that'll work fine. What's down there? Yeah, let's just let's just buy a province. That's too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna play Sentry second. I might be able to set up a Tormentor play next turn. Building is just so awkward because there's no draw. Like I can add more stuff to my deck, but am I really increasing my ability to do things? Yeah, we'll play on. Don't really need that villa. Top deck's two tormentors. But I have three in my deck. We'll get another one. Yeah, this still doesn't work. This is a bad hand, though. Yeah, I need uh, I need a quarry. Hmm. Pick envious. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm not going to get an imp here. So we each have two imps. So he's thin now. Just has two junk cards left. He doesn't have an in though. Deluded. Okay. Well, we'll try to buy province. And if we don't, the gold is fine. Hexes. Have those been shuffled? They'd have to have been, right? Uh, minstrel first. Get that imp. Don't need that in. That's 
8. Got two cursors. Okay. Once again, we cannot get an imp. One of them onto my deck. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, these tormentor attacks are pretty painful. No doubt about it. Great. Yikes. Uh, I think that must be miserable there, the last hex. So I'm going to give him twice miserable. Which, I don't know how I feel about that. What is this? Hmm. I'd kind of like to trash in, I think. Definitely miserable. Let's get a minstrel. Nope. No imp here. We're not terribly far away from Villa, Minstrel, Tormentor, Pile. If I ever get a hand with two quarries, I think I'll I'll take advantage of that and, and buy all the villas and stuff. Okay. You're miserable. Man. Maybe I just grab an imp here. I think I'm going to do that. Whatever. Could be wrong. We're doing it anyway. Okay, we can finally get another imp and play on. Unless we get attacked. This might be a double quarry turn as well. He doesn't have a quarry. 
think I trashed it. We each have one copper. He still got two curses. And then a state. But he does have an inn now. Tech control is so difficult. Deluded, I can't buy the villa. Ah. Finally get to a point where I would have been able to... I can't do anything interesting with Deluded. Well, we have things to discard, so. Um, man, this is so frustrating. This turn would have been so good if we weren't deluded. Um, what are we even gonna do? I don't think we. Do we even want to trigger this shuffle? I guess we can put some decent cards into our shuffle. I don't really want either of these. Do we want a silver? Sure. Sure? Nah, no silver. Oh, that diluted. Without that diluted, we would have been able to empty villas. Get an empty villas and get a decent, like, I don't know if we would be able to get multiple other action cards, but it would have been a decent turn. Alas, we still have a 20 VP lead. There's only so many times we can be made miserable. I think, yeah, I've, I've given out Plague all three times. That's a pretty nasty one on this board. He's got a lot of monuments. I think he's got three tormentors and three monuments, and I have four tormentors and one monument in terms of our terminal silvers. Seems unlikely, but maybe we can combine two quarries this this turn. That'd be that'd be fine by me.
Wait, I actually have two coppers? Oh my goodness. I could lose. How was this turn so good? What am I missing? What am I missing? That was an exceptionally good turn. I don't know how he managed that. I am genuinely confused about how he managed that. Man, if I lose this game, that would be so... Such a throw. <sighs> oh my gosh. All right, what can we do here? I don't think gaining, like doing the imp thing is all that valuable anymore. But what is? I'm not gonna be able to buy a province out from this. Maybe we just maximize the number of tormentors we can play. <sighs> wow. I just have no idea how to play the rest of this game. Um, I guess Sentry has a chance to do good things, but what if I draw... a monument? Now let's try to sentry. Okay. We'll try to have a good turn. Stupid monument. Guess this is a good board for monument. Just spin, spin, spin. Very slowly. A lot of slow spinning. I haven't hit him with a hand size attack in forever. This is real, looking like a really good turn from him. But no, no quarry, so onto my deck. Hmm. Okay, fine by me. The monuments that are troubling. How did he have that 
13 coin turn. That was wild. Like, I don't know how you can do that on this board. And this looks like a nice turn. This looks like a very nice turn. I'm gonna draw that imp. Do we want the quarry? I would like a quarry. I'd like more villa. No, I have. We have villas. Okay. This is looking pretty good. isn't likely to improve our hand. Okay, can we win the game here? We only need three buys, I think. But how much money do we need? We need 11. It's 9, 10, 11. I think we have it exactly. quite the game. <laughs> Had an amazing start and then we almost uh, managed to throw it away. Okay, so on this board we have Spice Merchant, we also have Inheritance. Not a lot of great stuff to inherit. So I don't see like there's any big rush to do that. We definitely want plus actions from the page line. From champion. So Spice Merchant page seems pretty pretty forced. So there is traitor to deal with curses if the opponent does manage to sneak some in with the young witch. 
but it doesn't seem like a great plan considering champion. But yeah, champion is key. There are some draws where Spice Merchant Page means that the Treasure Hunter is going to miss the shuffle. But seems like the best opening by far. Then I think we want one Paddock as our terminal. Yeah, this is uh, a line where it might miss. Um, plus buy. I think I might get a a ducket here. Hero doesn't seem at all necessary on this board, so I don't feel like I need another page. <clears throat> Double spice merchant. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, so at least here, <clears throat> excuse me, at least here we can, whoa, turn four treasure hunter? Oh man, if our warrior gets trashed, or our treasure hunter, whatever, it's all bad. Um, I think I will get a backup page, considering what I just saw. That's some good draws. Let me see what that was. Yeah, that was with the perfect draws. Well, he's not going to trash my treasure hunter, but he could still trash my warrior. Although he's probably going to be so far ahead that he won't. Should I get a silver? I guess it depends how many silvers this treasure hunter gives me. Got three estates in hand. Yeah, I know my warrior. No, I don't think my warrior can be trashed. I think I'm safe from that fate. And there's a chance I can draw my warrior next turn. So that's pretty cool. Just one silver, huh? Let's get one more duck in. I don't I don't feel great about that. I'd really like my spice merchant to not be trashed, but I guess it's trashed. <sighs> and there's no way to no way to predict that or anything. gonna miss my shuffle too. <sighs> mm. 
Uh, yeah, I'll inherit. That was unexpectedly good. So inheriting Black Cat is like the um, the forward-thinking play. Inheriting Page is the in-the-moment play. Let's do Black Cat. You can inherit Spice Merchant, that's funny. We're gonna play one of these estates. We might draw hero dead, but if we don't, we're in a pretty great spot. Well, that's a, a good case. Better than putting all this junk in our shuffle. We'll get the silver a little, I guess we get it now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, do we want a spice merchant? We do just get, get a paddock. Two buys. Do I get a curse? Not yet. Not yet. Do we get a spice merchant? Yeah, okay. I'm not ready for that treasure hunter yet. Good, good, good. Okay, he takes the curse. That temptation is gone. All right. Um, could get Paddock and Estate here. It's a little greedy. We don't know where in the champion is going to come in our shuffle. But we're going to play. We're going to play a little greedy. Okay, okay. That's really unfortunate. Traitor, huh? I wonder what the plan is there. Hasn't gotten the champion in play yet, but we'll presumably do that. Oh no, just got the champion in play. 
All right. Oh, this is real awkward. Paddock is generally better than Ravel. Guess we'll trash the silver here. Sure feels bad. Yeah, we're we're kind of impossibly behind as a result of our champion being flipped. Don't think we have a chance. We still have coppers left. We have a paddock in there. If we can draw our paddock, that'll be pretty nice. I guess uh, it's all pretty, pretty hopeless. We could buy two estates, but I mean, our path to victory is uh, we see our champion really early in the shuffle. So We cannot keep these spice merchants. Yeah, this is this is frustrating. Come on. What is the hold up? Why not two provinces? Just page things.
Mm. I don't know about minion. Ooh, there's populate in the kingdom. Seems like a difficult kingdom to hit populate on. So there's also way of the owl. Don't like Ambassador. I just don't like it. The Blessed Villages seems good. Double Ambassador. That's the way it's going to be, huh? I guess I'll do it now since I'm going to get terminal collision if I don't. Do we literally keep all of them? Or do we discard one to guarantee that we see at least one of our terminals? I guess we discard one. Oh. Alright, well I'm really glad we did that. Ooh. That was good draws for him. But not bad for me. Yeah, populate seems good. If I can get to that amount of money. Do we like switch? I think we switch to a draw to X thing once we populate. Once something like that. Okay. Do we want to trigger the shuffle? If we draw our ambassador, that's fine. If we don't draw our ambassador, it's top decked. Yeah, I think we can draw. All right. Tempted to get a gold. That didn't work out too well.
Ooh. If only we had a st oh, if we draw settlers. No. That would have done it. What do we want here? Probably probably bustling village. I think that gives us pretty good opportunities. Be great if we drew ambassador or steward here. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. I was thinking we'd be able to. Yeah, we need more villages. Well, we need to do it. Okay, okay. This could be a populate hand. Minion, huh? We did it. Very exciting. Not a very exciting hand at all. Uh, oh no, we can owl because we have the fields gift coming up, so that's cool. Still might be a sad hand. We are not thin. That much is clear. I have an herbalist in my deck. If we play it, we have six and two buys. That doesn't get us much. Could keep drawing. Let's trash here. this I had no idea I had these cards left in my deck oh yes please attack no oh. <laughs> Do I have 10 coppers in my deck? That's pretty unfortunate. That is a very, very nice spoon. I mean, they're all good. Almost. Moon's gift would have been good there. 
Um, but maybe not if he minion attacks. It's hard to know. Okay. I need to see a village. I have villages. I just need to see them. I have three bustling villages, don't I? And like three blessed villages. You'd think we'd be able to find one. Doesn't want to go for populate. Nice. Bustling village. Okay, this is inconvenient. Set up a potential future ranger. Play that. Adam. Okay, okay. That was good. Feeling good about that. This is a really, really fun populate board. I'm really glad we finally got our deck under control uh -huh. no settlers down there unfortunately Now we've got two copper in our deck. We'd like to do something with those. Let's go ahead and do two coins. Now we'll I think we need to draw stuff. Let's just get rid of these coppers while we can. Navigator, 
going through. I don't think this will o wisp draws anything. Apparently there's another copper. I could just leave that there. I don't think we need to worry about pileouts. Go next turn for that. Doesn't really do much. All right. And then we'll uh, we'll buy some provinces. Ooh, there is ambassador stuff. We'll want to be careful about the ambassador pileouts. Could theoretically pile out ourselves. How realistic is it to pile out? The ambassador, three minions. We buy three blessed villages in a province. Let's not. Let's not worry about that. Um, I don't know if there's any copper down there. Wow, okay. Yeah, Willowis can draw some things. Huh. I mean, also. It's just too greedy, I think. All right, so we kind of need plus actions. Ambassador, I think, is our preferred owl. Let's just cycle that. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. All right. There's uh, some villages in there.
That's that looks great. Yeah, I was uh, playing that slowly. It was complicated, but I was in a very one position. In hindsight, I shouldn't have played that blessed village as the owl. Plus actions was very important. All right, on to the next board. Tournament. With sinister plot, got like apprentice bandit. So, trashing coppers is remodel into lackeys. It's their supplies. This good remodel board. Very good remodel board. Um, might want to actually open double remodel. It's a little bit greedy. Probably plot remodel. If we can, maybe remodel plot, that's fine. Actually, yeah, if the remodels collide, you can remodel into lackeys and play the second one. But it's really nice to get plot going. If I open double remodel, I might not hit four for a while. Four three would have been better here. And of course, five two or two five is magnificent. Followers is pretty nasty due to the hand size attack primarily. Getting a curse is a little bit worse than getting an estate, but not not a ton worse. Lackeys and supplies are both really good. Yeah, I like that. I think a third remodel is greedy. Probably. I'm kind of cons. I'm pretty tempted though. I'm so tempted. Devil's Workshop first, I think. Oh no, I don't want to see this at all. I'm going to draw three next turn until Hackies to hope to find the remodel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 
maybe we get a remodel here. Maybe we just go. Just go crazy. I'm I'm trying it. I don't know. Early outpost could be good too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's draw. I may I may have been a bit too greedy here. Whatever. We're in too deep. We're 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 in too deep. Oh no, don't don't deprive me of lackeys. I need those. <laughs> All right. So we want to get like uh, an apprentice. So it's a trashing situation. Uh, I think we've trashed a lot of coppers. It's a token situation. Ah, oh, six, okay. All right, do we stop here? Do we stop here? We can get like an outpost and an apprentice. Tournament. And our, our fun is, is pretty much over now. Sure would be nice to get trusty steed if we can manage that.
That's actually extremely impressive. We can probably get a province here. Didn't draw the wish. Oh, did he use the, yeah, he used the plot there. It was a good time to use the plot. wasn't blocked, so we'll keep going. Didn't get to our outpost. It's kind of annoying. Didn't get to our money either. Do we even try for the leprechaun? like a gold. So maybe we just remodel remodel into gold. It's kind of lame, but we can't really support all these remodels. Sadly. So let's get supplies. We have no villagers. Yeah, that just puts us in a really terrible spot. Yeah, the outpost is really nice there. Yeah, I don't think I can win. I think I'll resign. Hmm. Yeah, we got a bit uh, remodeling. Lackey's happy. 
Uh, he did a good job depriving me of the remaining lackeys. Maybe I would have continued to shoot myself in the foot, but as it was, there was no recovery. Okay. Catapult, rat catcher. Probably. Ooh. No plus actions. Pretty nasty board. Pretty nasty. Like, we're not really trying to hit five, are we? Maybe we prefer upgrade to rat catcher, and so we should open mill catapult. We are first player. There's a chance that we can actually hit five. Upgrade would be really nice to turn estates into stockpiles. Okay, I'll do it. Like, we can pick up rat catchers later. We don't need to open it. Uh, there's a okay chance that we hit five next turn, but not great. Ideally, we would have seen one estate here. Wow, never mind, he skips catapult. Well, that's good news. We're going to play with one catapult. There's no plus actions whatsoever. This is, of course, the worst thing that could have happened. Ideally, we do not draw our catapult or our stockpile on this turn. Drawing rat catcher could also be inconvenient. going to be a painful game. That's some really aggressive stockpiling. Well, that was exactly what I wanted to see. This is fine. Maybe we'll even draw our stockpile. 50% chance. A lot of stockpiles. This is really annoying. Well, it is somewhat tempting. It's pretty rare that I'm going to actually call these rat catchers. Maybe next turn I'll call. I'll end up calling one. Could get catapult number two. Oh, there's capitalism. I'm definitely going to do that. Yeah, like here, if he doesn't attack me, 
I think I will trash both the states. there's any benefit to getting this rat catcher. Oh, there's a tiny benefit. If I can upgrade it. I think you got seven of the stockpiles. Okay. What now? Annoying. That's it, the labyrinth points are gone. That sucks. We just buy gold. Do we get bandit? I don't know if he can like rush piles or anything. Might not be time for bandit. I'm afraid. So he went for the bandit. That implies that he's going to do a little building. I'll follow. Uh, also, I could have known that this was going to happen. It was foreseeable. Whatever, I think I'm just going to buy capitalism now. 
I should have done that last turn, and then I could have bought Bandit this turn. I don't know if I would have played both Catapults, though. He doesn't have rat catchers. No, he does have them now. Gardens. Oh, I want to buy provinces. I'm a little confused by the play. I don't know if it does any good, but I'm going to buy it. Um, this upgrade doesn't look very good. I'm out of rat catchers in my deck. My deck is extremely thin. So he's got three stockpiles out there. How about the trashing situation? He's only trashed one estate. Don't know what the copper trashing situation is. All right, he's going all in for gardens. I don't think that's great. Maybe I just play mill since I don't necessarily have something that I want to do that upgrade. We could trash. Could trash silver. All right, worth it. Is giving out a curse or gaining a mill better? Probably gaining a mill. He's got a lot of rats on the mat. Ah, screw it. Let's curse. Oh, oh, ah, oh, Okay, um, we could get let's get a mill. Silver is definitely a reasonable thing to do. Now if we're not attacked here, that's gonna be great. But you know, sometimes it's just the way it goes. He's trying to rush piles. I need more money, probably a silver. Doesn't look good for me.
we need we need to start provincing as much as I'd like. To do otherwise. What is this nonsense? Do we play the upgrade? I'm having a hard time thinking of what I could draw that would make my turn. Yeah, I can't think of it. That's a problem. Trash is a gold. Hmm. Two can play this game. Well, that's not fair. <sighs> hmm? Could have gotten a duchy out of it, not that it matters. That's frustrating. I can't remember what happened there. Game's a bit of a blur. Oh yeah, he got seven stockpiles. Hmm. That might have uh might have been impactful. Oh, and he won the, um, as a result of that, he won the labyrinth points. Well, this looks like a board. Um, there is one thing missing, one very important thing that we'd like to see on all boards that we don't see here.
and that's trashing. Thinking about Camel Train Overlord, actually. Just get all the overlords. Hey, that's my idea. I don't know if it's great, but it seems okay. But yeah, Sculptor and Stables both seem really good. Training on either Overlord or Stables should be real good. Got a little bit of plus buy. Full deck control might be elusive. Might even gain a talisman off of Sculptor on a turn where that would give me like two mining villages, maybe. Okay, talisman, huh? No, I don't think that's a very good. Okay. Why is he getting all the mining villages? What am I missing? I don't like this collision at all. I really don't like this collision. We could do Sculptor Gaining Talisman. I hate to burn the villager so quickly. But okay. I don't want to trigger a shuffle. Wait. So get an overlord or an oracle here. Finally, I can play the stables. Uh, here we could get two stables. That's probably worth it. There's anything where the order matters. Oh no, there's Oracle Cardinal. But Overlord is safe. But if the stable's empty, Oracle or Overlords get a lot worse. So he's got two overlords in his deck.
That was a really good turn. Yikes. That's brutal. That turn was amazing. This turn is terrible. Yikes. I think I'd like to sculpt for a mining village here, probably. I guess we could also consider... Yeah, no. We don't have an opportunity to do a talisman thing here. Eh, we'll do stables first. Let's keep doing that. I don't know if getting that last overlord was worth it. Apparently, this game is going to pile soon. And we lost the landmark VP split again. <laughs> hmm. Problem. I bet he can win in two turns. I'm I'm sure of it. Whereas I have seven debt. Yeah, I mean he can't win this turn either, but next turn I think he can win. Well, that's not a great turn. So you're saying there's a chance. Nope, not a chance. Wow. Wow, I can't do anything. Um.
Wow, that was awful. Um, I don't know, man. Oh, what an awful turn. this board at all. I hate when the game is over so quickly. There's so much game to be played and yet it's all gonna be over. He's not ending the game this turn but I can't end the game on my turn unless he does something really foolish. But he's going to get colonnade points either way, which puts him up 4 VP. So I would need a province plus emptying piles to be able to win. Ugh. I don't know. It's looking bleak. I guess. I have a pretty good hand though. Yeah, I guess there's no. It was very unlikely for him to be able to end the game on his turn. Still, he gets the last two mining villages. He's in a fantastic position. I don't feel feel pressure to take green, but that just kind of sets him up to be able to empty oracles on the next turn. Whoa. See how aggressively he plays. I think we each got five overlords, whatever good that is. I mean, if he buys platinum, I'm pretty happy about that. Means the game isn't over. He didn't do that. Okay. That was a good play. That was the, the right thing. The thing he should have done. Unfortunately, he did it. So, winning this turn would require playing two Sacred Groves and a Overlord as Sculptor gaining Talisman. Nope, it would require three. I don't think so. I don't think so. Nope, not happening.
Not even. Like, what the heck? I do deserve these draws. We have four overlords, at least two mining villages and an oracle down there, and uh, a stables. Well, he's not popping the mining villages. Maybe he has a dead turn somehow. Seems incredibly unlikely. I'm a little surprised that he's choosing to play his overlords as oracles. But yeah, those are good cards right there that got discarded. I guess we could have played the mining villages first before Overlord is stables and we would have had one fewer copper in our shuffle, but whatever. Yeah, that's great, great cards. We do have two overlords down there in the bottom three. However, I'd rather they not be there. So if he wants to win, he needs to play both of his remaining overlords as sacred groves. As long as he has talisman in hand, he wins. Trash here. Play both the Sacred Grove. I don't think we've seen him draw Talisman yet. Okay, that's game. You can do that too. And that is a wrap. That finishes off. Season 41 of the league. Congratulations to Squire Zuko for uh, winning the first D Division Championships. Uh, next up for me will be the annual Shuffle It uh, Championship Tournament. And there's a lot of entrants, over 400 this year, and it's a single elimination tournament. And uh, yeah, I'll probably have a buy in the first round. But uh, yeah, then I'll be playing in the round of 256. Until then.